Hello, everyone. Welcome to My The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, Sharon Rosales has gone over the deep end when it comes to dealing with Cameron Kirsten. Cameron has Sharon convinced that killing Daniel Romilotti will make things straight with her family again. Sharon really feels that this will bring Cassie Newman back. On the Sharon want to make this reunion happen. The young and the restless spoilers for Sharon Newman can only see one way out. Sharon believes that her life would have been very different if she and Nick Newman had stayed together. Sharon is aware that if Cassie had not died, this would most likely have occurred. Can Sharon reconcile the family and live happily ever after? Sharon is aware Cassie has died. Cassie cannot miraculously return to the living after all of this, and killing Michael will not change anything. Sharon and Nick, on the other hand, can rejoin Cassie and resume their family life. Is Sharon pretending to kill Nick and then herself in order to reunite the family. Why in our spoilers, Cassie Newman is on the other side. Cassie died several years ago, and Faith Newman would not be here if she had survived. Cassie anticipated Faith's birth. Sharon would have had no need to hunt for or welcome Moria if Cassie was still alive. Cassie's death set everything in action. Sharon refused to give up her other two girls for anything. Sharon cannot give up her current children in order to bring Cassie back. Sharon now has two additional daughters and a grandchild. Is Sharon willing to give it all up to join Cassie? Does Sharon have any idea what Cameron is about to force her to do? What will it take to bring Sharon to her senses? The young and the restless spoilers. Can Cassie Newman save her parents? Cassie may be the only person who can get through to Sarah now that she has come this far. Will Cassie be able to prevent Sharon from going after Daniel and maybe killing Nick? Can Cassie persuade Sharon to receive the help she requires so that she can be there for her brother, sisters, and Nick in the future? Could this almost tragic event bring Nick and Sharon back together? These individuals have never stopped caring for one another. Will Nick and Sharon reconcile and be grateful for their family rather than seeking what they cannot have again? Can Nick and Sharon be rescued from what she believed was the way out? Fans of The Young and The Restless are anxious that Daniel Romilotti may leave the program. There has been talk about leaving Genoa City and moving to another town to escape the current situation. However, fans are divided on how Daniel will exit. The Young and The Restless spoilers. Sharon Rosales is acting irrationally. The Young and the Restless spoilers state that Sharon's recent behavior has been entirely illogical. Sharon's continued attacks on Lucy Romilotti over an accident for which she has previously apologized is ludicrous. Daniel understands that when it comes down to the wire, this isn't about Lucy. Sharon has never accepted the reality that Cassie Newman died while she was with Daniel. However, Cassie drove the automobile, not Daniel. Daniel, on the other hand, is considering relocating his family from Geno City in order to escape this toxic environment. Daniel is attempting to protect his daughter, who is too stubborn to listen. I and our spoilers, Daniel Romilotti's life could be in grave danger. Cameron is pressuring Sharon to kill Daniel, which could possibly be his exit strategy. Sharon is persuaded that getting rid of Daniel will restore her life what it should have been all along. However, Daniel's death is unlikely to erase the past. Cassie has been dead for years. Thus, Daniel's death would have no effect on her. Could Daniel be assassinated before he can move out of town with his family? Daniel is willing to abandon his parents to take his Daniel daughter and never himself. Seen Sharon so irrational, and he is concerned about what may happen. Could Sharon go after Daniel and try to kill him before he leaves town? The Young and the Restless Spoilers Will Sharon Rosales be arrested? Sharon certainly does not realize she has an issue. 
Every time Sharon attempts to fight Cameron, he takes her back down the same path. Let's be honest, Cameron blames Sharon for his death. Thus, his thoughts are clearly not entirely Sharon's. Can Sharon tell the difference between the two before she does something irreversible? Will Sharon carry this out to the bitter finish, attempting to kill Daniel only to be captured and placed in a mental institution? Could Sharon be jailed for attempted murder, or worse, because she did not receive the necessary assistance before attempting to take someone's life? Will Sharon be the reason Daniel leaves Genoa City for good? The Young and the Restless spoilers for Monday, September 23 predict some huge events as the program begins another week in Genoa City. Next on Young and Restless, someone points the finger of blame, another warns their ex, and a character goes missing. What kind of drama is about to unfold on Monday? Time to find out. The Young and the Restless spoilers, Billy Abbott's blame, I and R teasers for Monday, September 23, indicate that Billy Abbott will be furious with Adam Newman. Billy will blame Mr. Newman for upsetting his ex again on the eve of Friday's episode as he watches Chelsea Lawson furiously rush out of society following a talk with Adam. Still, Adam may remind Billy that he broke up with her, so why should he care? Phyllis Summers argued that this would encourage Billy to reconsider his feelings. Is this the end for Chelly, or might Billy decide to reconcile with Chelsea? I and R spoilers, Victoria Newman's warning. Speaking of Billy, I and R spoilers for Monday, September 23, reveal that Victoria Newman will issue a warning to her ex when the two cross paths. Vicky has been trying to persuade Victor Newman to abandon his hostile takeover plan for Abbott Chancellor, but the mustache refuses to budge. She will most certainly try to warn Billy, but he is well aware of Victor's plans. In either case, will she bring up the buyout idea she proposed? Billy may not be interested in such a bargain because he is more than prepared for a war. Will he respect Vicky's warning regarding her father? Or will the two argue? Fans will need to tune in to find out. I and it are spoilers. Sharon Nibbin is missing. Finally, Monday's lie and our spoilers indicate that Maria Copeland may have returned from her vacation to Madison, and she and Nick Newman will attempt to concoct a method to locate Sharon Newman, who has gone missing. While Sharon insisted on being left alone, Maria and Nick understand that is not a smart idea given her mental state. The Y and R preview for the week of September 23 to 27 has Maria, Nick, and Tessa Porter grilling Daniel Romolotti Jr. After all, Daniel was the last person Sharon spoke with before she went missing, so Nick and the crew should be able to recognize his danger and strive to protect him until Sharon is found. Can they keep Daniel safe and find Sharon? before something bad happens. Are you excited for Monday's episode? Leave a comment below. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe for more information. I'll see you guys next time.